Hello all, welcome to NetSet OS. So in the last video, we have seen the login page where we have seen the usage of this forgotten your password. Here we have integrated this with the views of Zengo authentication framework. You can create your own views if you want a different behavior. Now, what if, if I want a fast paced development? So for that, I just need not to have these auth paths. I'll comment it out and here from the starting of this project, I'm telling you the importance of zango.contrib.auth. Here we'll be including this with our function. Oh, include. And we'll create a new path for it where I'll have include Sango dot contrib dot auth dot urls and don't forget to put comma over here now let's see whether it will work now or not so for that i'll check out it's running now we will go to browser and we'll refresh this page it's working well now you can log in log out reset your password everything you can do now we will create our own user profile so that if any visitor visits my website then he can also create his own user account so let's see how so we need to build a view to allow visitor to create a user account for that we will go to account and here in forms as here we need to create a simple view to allow user registration on our website so here we will be creating a form to let the user enter our username their real name and their password so we will add it this forms.py so first of all i'll import user from same zango.contrib.org so I'll just write from zango.contrib.auth.models import user. Here below this login form class, I'll create a new class with the name user registration form, which will be inherited from forms.model form. Here we will take password and password to for user to set their password and confirm it here itself so first of all for creating the password i'll take password and for confirming the password i'll take password to password i'll take in care field which will have label equal to password and widget will have firms dot password input Let's copy this down in password 2 for confirming it. But here in label, I'll take repeat and rest will be same. Inside this, I'll make a meta class which will have model equal to user and the fields will be username, first name, and the email here I need to define the function clean underscore password to which will have CD equal to self dot cleaned underscore data then we will set a condition CD password not equal to CD password to if my set password is not equal to confirmed password, then it is supposed to raise validation error. And here it will reflect the message passwords don't match. Here I'll not put this or I can use backslash. Here I made use of this apostrophe. When I am putting the string, it can take this apostrophe as quotes. So for neglecting this quote, I need to use slash apostrophe so that it can ignore 
this apostrophe and the string will be here as it is. Right? Now I am supposed to return password 2. So if I go above, we have created a model form for the user model. In this form, we included only username, first name and email. These are the fields of the model. These fields will be validated based on their corresponding fields. For example, if a user chooses a username which already exists, they will get validation error because username is a field defined with unique is equal to true. Here we have added password and password to. As I told you, password is for user to set their password and password to for the user to confirm it. Then coming down, we have used clean underscore password to method to check the second password against the first one. And if they are not equal or they don't match, it will give validation error. Here Zango also provides user creation form which is provided by zango.contrib.auth and it is quite similar to this one so you can use it if you want. Here after this we will go to views.py to add this class into this view. So here first I'll import user registration form then I'll make a function down below with the name register request then it will verify if request dot method is paused then user underscore form will be equal to user registration form request dot post then here we will verify if user underscore form dot is valid then here we will create a new user object but avoiding to save it so here i'll write new underscore user of user underscore form dot save but i need not to save it right now so for that i'll write commit is equal to false now here i need to set the chosen password so for that I'll write new underscore user dot set underscore password and inside this I should have user underscore form dot cleaned underscore data and here we will have password. Now after this I'll save this new underscore user dot save. Then we need to return render request where we will have account inside account register underscore done dot html here i'll take new underscore user as we have introduced this new underscore user variable so this is for when user form is valid now let's take the else condition also over here else it will take user underscore form user registration form and here it will return render request the same register underscore done dot html and here we have we made use of user underscore form so instead of new underscore user, we will have user underscore form. So here the view for creating our user account is quite simple. But for security reason, instead of saving the raw password, we have made this new underscore user and set the password in this new underscore user. And thereafter, we have saved this new underscore user. Now we will go to URLs and we'll save this register method in the URLs. Here in views, it's showing red mark. Perfect. 
now i'll go to urls inside account and here i'll make one more path where it will have register method and here it will call views dot register where name will be register now i'll create a new template with the same name register so for that i'll go inside templates inside registration i'll create a new html file with the name register i'll take the help of login html and will paste over here in register.html where first of all it is extending base.html then in title i'll write create an account then in block content we'll give the same as title create an account now in paragraph i'll give please sign up using the following form put colon over here then we will include form method is equal to post now here i'll take user underscore form then we'll be using csrf token and here we will have submit button the topic where the value will be create an account give my account so that's it so here we have a template with the name register now let's create one more template with the name register underscore done so going to the templates here itself i'll create a new html file with the name register underscore done and here register and register underscore done i'll take this two of the html and will shift it to the account it should be inside account so here inside templates inside account we have four templates we have four html file dashboard login register and register underscore done now coming to register underscore done i'll take the logged out html will copy from here and will paste in register underscore done so here first of all it is extending base.html and in title we will have welcome now in content i'll write welcome and the user's first name so we have already created new underscore user first underscore name let's put exclamation over here and in p tag i'll give your account has been successfully created and here we can give now you can and here i'll give the login link and here we can log in no need to provide again that's enough now let's see whether it is working well or not if it is showing any error then we'll correct then and there so i'll go to the here it is showing first name let's see whether i have used first name somewhere instead of first underscore name so for that i'll check register.html first underscore mm -hmm. name register let's check in forms yes here it should be first underscore name now we'll go here run the server again it's working fine now i'll go to browser now if i go here it is showing error as it says it returned none uh, if i go to views your views.py yes here it is not returning anything and this is for post if it is not post then it will return this return should be parallel to if 
and this was for post and this was for get method now here with return let's save this and here it's working fine let's go to browser refresh it and here we got welcome your account has been successfully created but here i want a registration page which we have created over there let's see in urls here it should be register page only <laughs> as i have copied from here it was register underscore done it should be register page now if i refresh this here we got create an account here we got so many errors we get to learn from our mistakes so the mistakes i am doing you should not do the same mistake and here we need to fill our username first name email address password and then we need to repeat our password or you can write confirm your password now let's fill the detail for username i'll give the name alice first name alice email address email address i'll give for me password the same password i'll give here and i'll create my account and we got register underscore done page after creating my page now when i click on login link here i'll give the same username my alice password and then login and here we got our dashboard here we can also add a link to registration now if i log out from here then log in again i want that sign up page here itself so for that i'll go to pycharm and here inside registration i'll open login.html and here in p tag please use the following form to log in i'll give the choice if you don't have account here i'll give up the link href of sign up page so here i'll write percentile url register and here i'll give sign up here let's go to browser account login and when i press enter here here we got please use the following form to login if you don't have account sign up here and sign up form which we have to fill for logging in so let's wind up so after the sign up page we will see how to added this sign up page as well as we'll be extending this user model in the next video so hope you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you